Everyone who plays video games has lost lives, restarted a level or continued a game from a checkpoint. But do any of these really have more meaning than just the simple mechanic of forcing the player to start over again? We naturally connect with well-made characters in games, but when there are no real consequences for the controlled avatar dying or losing, it keeps us away from the experience of loss. And this, in turn, makes us think of defeat as only a small step backwards. Games that deal with losing in this way make it naturally hard to connect more to their character's death or, in most situations, deaths. Now imagine a movie doing the same, killing a character over and over again. Sure, you would feel a sense of rush the first time you were on the brink of loss, but once you have seen this go over and over multiple times, it starts to lose its meaning not only emotionally, but also game-wise. If there is no real perceived loss for your character dying, the engagement will be left dull. There are various methods of making the character's death more meaningful. Roguelikes push it to the other possible end, by removing all progress and resetting the whole game. This method, on the other hand, can make telling certain types of linear storylines difficult. The type of storylines we see in movies mostly, and thus in games as they are still mostly trying to mimic the movie industry storytelling methods. Then we have games that choose something in between. Losses can be enhanced with mechanics that still affect player's progress in a meaningful negative way but not too harshly to remove the whole progress, which will be pretty excessive for a game that will span tens of hours of gameplay, with growing storylines tied into it. Dark Souls deals with this by adding a level of progression that can be lost upon death. Each enemy slain gains souls to the player, which act as a currency to exchange for improvements of your character's abilities. The souls collected will be, however, lost when player gets defeated. Now, the first death in this game is not an automatic loss completely. Players can still reach back to their location of loss and retrieve the lost souls. But if they don't manage to reach the location, the hard work put to gain those now dropped souls will be lost forever. This makes players naturally more invested in the possible loss of their character's life, especially so when they are trying to reach their lost souls after initial death. It becomes a challenge to save the progress by reaching the same location as before. Somewhere in the middle is where XCOM Enemy Unknown also lands. You personally choose all the members of your team, build them up through the experience ranks, equip them with specialized abilities and gear, then you see them go through multiple battles that threaten the very existence of these characters. Sometimes they get injured during missions and their abilities and skill sets are unavailable for a set period of time. Or the worst case scenario, upon death they are framed on the wall of heroes as memories of once great avatars you used to control. What makes XCOM unique is that due to its multiple playable and interchangeable character nature, the game can permanently remove a character from the game and still continue a bigger ongoing story. Since this is not a personal level storyline and rather a global scale saving the earth kind of stuff, it also fits with the overall tone of the game. The game isn't here to worry about the loss of one, it is here to tell a story about the struggle of humanity as a whole, and for this very setting the permanent death method fits really well.
all of this nudges the mindsets of the players to a more careful playstyle when it comes to completely losing or even just having a valuable member getting injured. During missions you make sure the soldiers come out of the battles alive, not only because you spend 10 minutes choosing their hair, but also since their skill sets benefit your team hugely. While during these missions, thanks to the game's lack of character building for the team members, it's easy okay. to start building your own stories about them. Blank slates ready to be filled in. What is this woman from Japan or this man from Brazil all about? What are their stories beyond the earth protecting XCOM soldiers that they are? Not only are they protecting earth, our home, most likely their friends or even their families, due to all the aforementioned things losing any of these valuable members of your team now has become a big deal this is very rarely seen in games and i personally wish to see more games implement harsher drawbacks so that we have more reasons to care about our game avatars and the stories that they build This was a short talk about XCOM and meaningful losses in games, an episode by JS Hay. If you like this kind of material, make sure to subscribe for more.